Welcome back. Super excited in this lesson. Now, of course, uh, this is the newer interface that is different from the old interface. However, tools are pretty much the same. In fact, they are the same. All you need to do is just make sure that you find the right tool that you like to follow through. So jumping right in, let me go ahead and start with the left navigation pane. So once you log in to your Power Apps account, you will be seeing this particular dashboard. On the left-hand side, you'll see tools like Home, Learn, Apps, Create, Data, Flows, AI, which is Artificial Intelligence Builder. This is something new in the new interface, and then Solutions as well. So Home is your main dashboard where we're able to build business apps pretty fast. You can create apps that connect to your data and work across the web and mobile. You can use the Canvas app from blank, or model driven amp from blank or portal from blank. In other words, from scratch. Okay. You can create your own app if you like from scratch, from zero. You can choose a model or build a model and then create an app. And then of course create a portal. Portal is similar to a website. Okay, there's something new in Power Apps they've come up with where you can actually build the entire website, which is known as the portal. Perfect. The learn tool in the left navigation is where you can use guided learning, help topics, community. Okay, just kind of go through some of this if you like and just search through some of the areas that you're looking for. Then we have the apps themselves. If you have apps created at this point, probably you don't have any apps created from scratch. But I have one here that I've created earlier. So if I click on it, you'll notice it's going to open up a new tab and it's going to spin up the app and then open it. So in this particular application, all I have is just a list coming from Excel, right? From Google Sheets that I'm gonna demonstrate as we move forward in the course. And then I have a video here as well coming from YouTube, okay? So just a simple app where I'm listing all the members. Great, let's navigate back to our main tab here. Let's go to create. Now this is something that you'll be using pretty much most of the time, once again, Fairly similar, you can create an app from scratch, create a portal or model-driven app. If you scroll down, you'll find several templates that are provided to you, such as portals, which are, again, websites, right? So if you open one of these, and I'm going to give this exercise to you, you go ahead and explore that. And then scroll further down, you'll see the budget tracker app, the site inspection app, fundraiser, lead request, it's fairly popular, service desk, and so forth. So there's several new templates that Microsoft has added that within Power App. So if you choose to use built-in templates, go ahead. Otherwise, you create your own from scratch. And in this course, moving forward, of course, we're going to create several apps from scratch by various data sources. Then we have the data, which contains entities, connections, custom connectors, and gateways. I'm going to, of course, get into in-depth as we move forward. But just for now, briefly, entities are, think of these as databases, right? These are just information that you keep track, such as first name, last name, address, phone, and so on. And then your connections. So if I click on connections, it's going to show me all of the connections that I have connected. In other words, these are the connections or also known as the data sources. Okay? So all of your data is coming from, in my instance, the app that you just saw, the data is coming from this particular Google Sheet, right? And that's where all the data resides. You can create and build new connections as well. And again, new connections mean whether it's Excel, whether it's SharePoint, whether it's DocuSign, anything, right? SQL and you, you name it. Similarly, custom connectors can also be built and there are gateways that you can also create. Flows is very good. Flows is something where you can automate the entire Power Apps environment. So if you need to, let's say, create an app first, and then within the app, you need to email someone as soon as someone clicks on a video, right? So that automation is created through Microsoft Flows. So I'm going to throw in a lesson or two, but I'm going to focus primarily in this course on building apps themselves. And not so much on Flows, but yes, I have lessons where you can take a look at how to build a basic flow. The artificial intelligence builder is absolutely new within the new interface where you can build 
AI-based models. In other words, you have large data. You can take your data and based on that historical data. You can create models and then create predictions, right? That's what artificial intelligence is all about, where you have data and then you create models. You predict based on that historical data. And then we have solutions, which is, again, something new in this interface, GUI interface of Power Apps, where we're able to basically they're built on a common data service database, or you can create your own database. In other words, you can choose the Power Apps database that they provide, Microsoft provides, or you can have your own databases as well. Great. So this is the left navigation pane, pretty straightforward now. And then on the top, you'll notice the environment. We can create several environments, which means that, for instance, you may have a department where you're working with the HR department, right? So HR department could have its own environment with its own set of apps. Similarly, sales department could have its own environment with its own set of applications, right? So there's another just simple example of environments where you can create multiple environments. You could also download, for instance, and what you can download is simply the app itself, the Power Apps Mobile and on-premise data gateway. Remember the studio has been deprecated, right? So these are the areas where you can download. Let's get back to our tab. Then we have the notifications, simple, and then the settings. This is important because as we move forward, if you click on the gear icon, the admin center is where you can manage the entire administration, right? So let me go ahead and quickly click on this just so that you can actually see what that looks like. So once the admin dashboard opens, you'll notice you can manage different environments that I just talked about. For instance, under the environments, I have maybe a couple of them listed. I'm just going to show up in a second or so. Correct. So two environments have been created that I'm using. And then you have the analytics, data integration, data gateways, and data policies, right? Which is, again, a new tab that opens up if you choose to take a look at the policies as well. So the admin center itself is just gives you an idea of how to manage things, right? So let me go back to the admin center here. And then you have the Dynamics 365 admin center, you have the flow, you have the power apps, and so on. So let's navigate back to our tab. So in this lesson, just quickly wanted to run through the actual environment. Now, if you move forward with the course, you'll notice you'll have to come across certain lectures which uh, may have the older interface as I update the course moving forward, but the tools are the same. Okay, you'll be able to find them on the left navigation pane or on the top right. So that's the only the two areas that I've shown you here in the new interface. In the old interface, it's about the same. Okay, so just follow the course along. If you would like to use the new interface, which probably you are using the new interface at this point in time as you build apps, but the concepts remain the same. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'll be glad to assist. I'll be more than happy to answer questions, walk you through any issues that you're having, or if you come across any question or need clarification, I'll be delighted to work through with your learning journey. So with this, hope this helps. Let's move to the next lesson.